All right, it's been all bad for the Michigan basketball uh, team the last few weeks. They lost four in a row, I believe, the last win coming versus Purdue. And um, they're going to go into the Nebraska game without uh, guard Xavier Simpson, who leads the nation in assists. You know, he's been suspended for an undisclosed violation of team policy and will miss Tuesday game against Nebraska. Let's talk about it a little bit. We back. Mercy Sports Talk, we in the building. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And Jawan Howard is a player's coach, but he uh, made this statement. While we are disappointed with what has transpired with Xavier, we know there were always uh, there are always lessons to be learned and, and grow from, Howard said in the statement. We take these matters and consequences very seriously moving forward. We will continue to handle this matter appropriately within our program and basketball family. And once again, uh, the six foot Simpson leads the Division One in assists, 157 and assists per game with 8.3 this season. The senior also is Michigan's leading, third leading scorer at 12.8 uh, points per game and is averaging 4.3 rebounds per game. Now, the college the college season has been really, really um, crazy. It's not really been no stability up top. Baylor is uh you know in a rarity they have uh stayed at number one at the top of the country but it's really flip-flopped a lot north carolina ain't really been good they got a, a hell of a recruiting class coming in i think they have three or four mcdonald's all americans that's going to be in the 2020 game this year but michigan has really stumbled after winning uh the tournament in the bahamas and you know it's a transition period uh simpson is a solid player but Simpson ain't the player that Jawan Howard going to need to win a national championship. Maybe in John Beeline program, he was a good player. But, you know, Simpson is okay. You know what I'm saying? Um, he struggles to shoot the ball, uh, but he's a penetrator. He's a creator. And, you know, that little funky hook shot he, shot he got. He an okay player, but uh, this ain't Jawan Howard's team. Jawan Howard is trying to uh, do a style with players that's not going to uh, be in the system that he wants. All right, Jawan is going to recruit players that's going to fit the system that he's going to implement. Right now, he can't he can't really implement the system he wants because he's not his players. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna to try to get top players in his program, and it's gonna be a period. Even though he got it, he got started with the boom, but Jawan gotta let these players know, even though I'm a players coach, we not gonna push no dirt on the rug. We're gonna run a program that's gonna have a ton of integrity. We all going to be held responsible, and I'm not just going to sweep none under the rug and be Mr. Nice Guy. Now, what Simpson did, we don't know. It, it ain't gonna, it ain't that serious if he only going to be suspended for one game, I think. Maybe he was late. Maybe he got into it with a coach. You know, but as a senior, you know, you you supposed to set the example. All the, the breaking team rules and violations, that's in the past. You don't see Cassius Winston doing that at Michigan State, do you? No. So Simpson should be on his best behavior. This is a guy who's had to go overseas. He's not going to be an NBA player. But Michigan, you know, Jawan Howard going to have better days than this. And I'm pretty sure Jerry Stackhouse at Vanderbilt and Patrick Ewing will as, will as well. They got to implement a system at their individual programs with the players they need. So it's going to take a few years to recruit and, and do what they need to do. But I believe Jawan Howard uh, will get the job done. But he's going to need an upgrade. Michigan don't have a lot of players. Liver's been out. Um, John Beeline was a master at, at recruiting players that fit his system, but that system don't really work for no other coaches. You know what I'm saying? So I think Jawan going to go in there. He going to get some more McDonald's all Americans. He going to get some more four or five star players and they going to play a different brand of football. I mean, basketball, but with Jawan, Jawan ain't going to let nobody run over him. And it's good to see he ain't going to sweep this under the rug. And like I said, a senior like Simpson, he know better than this. Whatever he done, he know better than this. And, you know, players make mistakes. But uh, Michigan going to need him down the stretch because this team lack depth and lack talent to play the way Juwan want to play. But you never know. It's been a crazy season, you know. North Carolina got all that talent. And Cole Anthony ended up getting injured. And look what they doing. Duke, all that talent. Kentucky, all that talent. So, you know, it's been a lot of L's going around. Michigan State and took some L's. They got blew out by somebody the other week. Was it Minnesota or or Purdue, somebody blew them out. So it's going to be ups and downs, a long college season. I think this might be the most competitive college season. You're going to especially see a lot of smaller schools probably get into the Elite Eight and the Final Four. But, hey, let me know what you guys think. Link the article in the ESPN in the description or the article link, all the social media in the description. Let me know how you feel. One time for the one time. Mercy Sports Talk. Share the video. We gone.